Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like a Glock on Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom B Pal Picks edition. B Pal Picks, a Patreon that is all the frolic. You can get it for free. I just had somebody sign up today. He's always in the chat all the time. Uh, Kenny, Kenny signed up today, man. Sweet. So he's going to get a month for free, and we're going to have lots of fun and frolic. Uh, I am i don't normally do Fridays. Well, actually, I do. I keep on saying that, and then I do every Friday. <laughs> but uh, um, I keep on saying that we do every Friday. But it's because it's, we're having a cold spring, so I have time at home. But I'm a little tired today, so I'm not going to get into. All I will tell you this is we're down four pearls for today. And that puts us up five pearls for the week. And I figured it out. I calculated it all up. Uh, we're up 32 and a half pearls for the season for hockey. For tennis, we are up. Uh, this is going from beginning from all time. We are up 43 pearls. So if you were following every pick and you spent a hundred dollars on every pick I did, you would have 3,250 bucks, 3,200, 3,200, 32, five and four, four thousand, you'd have seven over $7,000. Pretty good. Not too shabby. And that's assuming you just put a, a pearl or whatever like that. Uh, if you play my large money plays, I don't think you're up a lot more, actually. Uh, my large money plays, overall, I don't think I'm up that much more. I even might be, my large money plays might not even be the biggest hits. But you guys have your plays, and you have fun, and you do whatever you do. If you like to just play parlays and go for the big dollars, have at her, man. Doesn't matter to me how you do it. But if you like to make a little money and have some fun, highly recommend you go over to the Patreon. Anyways, I'm not going to get into what happened today. Last, I'm just going to get straight to the picks today because I'm a little tired. It's been a rough week. I, I'm i about seven naps short this week. So I got to make them all up tomorrow. It's not easy, you know. 14 naps a day, I say. 14 naps a day. And pants-free living, don't forget that. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, we got lots to do. We got lots of games to get into. Buffalo, Buffalo versus Boston. I thought, okay, this is, take this for whatever you want, okay? I thought the spot for Buffalo was last game because it was the first game back off of a road trip for Boston. Now, the last two times I did that, the team that I didn't, take in other words in this case i'm taking boston the last two times it was the second day after a road trip and i decided to go with the same team that won the first day after the road trip the team i went with lost so take that whatever you want but i'm going with logic logically speaking boston should be this should be a good spot for the berlin so i'm going with it Okay. The other way you can look at it is those are good spots. If I missed, if the last two didn't go, odds would say this one's going to, if you want to look at it that way. Uh, so I'm going on the, what was I going to do? It's a day game. I don't like a day game. Did I go puck line or did I go rig? I want puck line and under, which you're not supposed to do, by the way. Cappers will tell you never do that. Uh, because... If you think it's going to win by two, then you must think it's going to be an over. But that's not the case. I just don't think that uh, Swayman is going to be a net for Boston. That kid is just rocking. Is tomorrow the day he doesn't rock? Maybe. But I'm going to go with the fact that he will. And uh, they already worked out. Uh, they're putting Luke Laukinen back in after getting lit up by Boston last game. Odds are he's going to get lit up again. Maybe not huge, but I'm going to say Swayman keeps it down and uh, like to one goal, and it's like a 4 1 win, somewhere around there. Okay? Okay. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section what you think about each game because it's fun that way. Or you can go on my show. 
the Pearl of Wisdom show between 3 and 5 Eastern, five days a week on this channel that you're listening to this on here right now. And uh, you can do your picks there. We just started a new month, starting new points and prizes and all that kind of stuff like that. Okay, Detroit versus Tampa Bay. Uh, I've been off Tampa Bay for a long time. Tampa Bay looks like they mean business now. It looks like they're actually trying. So I got to take them. Uh, it's on the road. Bernier will be in that. I don't like puck line in against Bernier because he can stop 53 shots. So uh, I'm going to go Tampa Bay and Reg, which doesn't pay very much. So you might want to just fade this game. And I'm going under five and a half, but I'm not huge on that either. So it's kind of a fade game. Uh, yeah. Carolina versus Columbus. Lion A is injured. I just noticed that before I started this. And uh, it's funny. Tortorella said he's nicked up. So in other words, Tortorella doesn't think he's that bad off. That Tortorella thinks that he probably should be able to play. He says he's nicked up. That's not, that's not a... Uh, you don't want to hear that from your coach, man. Oh, yeah, he's nicked up. Like, he's got a nick. He's got a hangnail. He stubbed his toe. <laughs> crazy, crazy stuff going on there in Columbus. And there was another significant injury, too. I can take a look at it real quick for you, just so we know. Uh, for Columbus here. For Bjorkstrand and Lion A. So, uh... How about we go in under here since Columbus won't be able to score any goals? <laughs> and uh, uh, we'll go Caroline puck line. Carolina, Carolina puck line. Like, I see no reason at all why Carolina doesn't crush that game. I think it's Merzlikens versus Nedeljkovic. Merzlikens has got a lot of heart. Kid, Great kid, goaltender. Uh I like him a lot. So Carol, he'll probably keep at least down to three or four goals. And Nadelkovic has been insane. And Carolina with Nadelkovic is insane. So Carolina on the puck line. New York Islanders versus the Rangers. Something wants me to swing the Rangers here, but I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Uh, I think the Islanders got it together that last game. They got their number. The, the Rangers have played them two games now. They lost 6 nothing and 4 nothing, So they haven't scored in two games. And they played Sorokin and Varlamov. So I'm going to go with uh, the Islanders here, money line. You're getting good enough juice on the money line against the Rangers. I'm surprised you're even getting that good. Uh, and Gorgiev is going to be in there for the Rangers too. So I imagine they're going to go with Sorokin. I'm still going to go the under. Uh, it's not as good as it was last year. I made tons of money on undering the Islanders last year. If you undered the Islanders and for them to win every single game, you would have been up insane amounts of uh, pearls last year. Uh, not so much this year. It's been like a little more off and on, but still, they're getting back to their old ways. Uh, Philadelphia versus New Jersey. I'm taking Philadelphia just because they can't lose to New Jersey three games in a row, can they? Elliot will be in net. I mean, over, over six again. Just keep on over and over and over and over. One of the times it'll be under, but the highest percent of the time that's going to be an over if between Philadelphia and New Jersey. Neither one of them have a defense. So, you know, I'm taking Philadelphia just because they probably should win one. I'm not going to put much on it. I'll probably go more on the over. Washington versus Pittsburgh. I think this will just go back and forth, back and forth. This is these are this is a coin flip uh, game, uh, especially if Pittsburgh puts Smith here and then Varlamov. I say go the tie. If there was ever a tie, this is it. And uh, over under, it's right on the money. I think it's a six, right? It's right on the money. Just they got a lot of firepower. Both go over just for the hell of it. Go over to uh, opening. Five and a half on the over. See if you can get that. And you, these are all uh, different bookies you can go to. Five dimes. You can get different odds on different book, for different bookies. 
So can we get a five and a half anywhere else? Opening is usually the one that's different than everybody else, but sometimes you'll find it different. Uh, Florida versus Chicago. I, I got to keep on going with Florida here. Um, yeah, especially if Sudan is in. Oh, it's Bob Rosky versus. Over. Over six. This will probably go up to six and a half. It's probably going to be Bob Rosky. Maybe they go back to the kid. Maybe they're so fed up with Bobrovsky that they go back to, uh, uh, what's his name? Why do I always forget his name? Spencer Knight. They go to the kid. If they go to the kid, I'm going to take Florida, ML, and uh, over, uh, yeah. Florida burns me every time with the over-unders. Uh, if it's Subban over, period, that's it. San Jose versus Colorado. Uh, Colorado just barely, we got we had large pearls on in reg on them. We did get that one. We're not getting the Arizona game. I'm really mad at that. How do you lose to Arizona with Aiden Hill in net? You won 10 games in a row and you're just like, ah, whatever. Yay, we won. They must have went out celebrating. Never thought about that. They probably went out celebrating after they won 10 in a row. Never thought about that. My buddy, Curtis Davis, who does picks for me too, I actually think he might be a better capper than me. Guy's incredible. He took Arizona PL. Like, he's he's really, he's, he's a great capper. Uh, I'll, I'm going to try to go live with him a couple times down the road here. Uh, Nashville versus Dallas. I'm going Nashville. Oh, look at this. They got a, it's five and a, it's five now. The line moved. But you're going to have Saros. Uh, are they going to keep on going back to the kid? He's probably their best option right now. Um, Ottinger. I'd still probably go under five, especially you're getting 218. Still probably do it. Under five, and I'm going Nashville. They're supposed to be getting a bunch of guys back, maybe even Forsberg. And if that's the case, now they haven't, they're going to have some rust and stuff like that, but it's still fresh legs in the lineup. Uh, Dallas has been playing a crap load. Uh, St. Louis versus Minnesota. I had St. Louis last game. I had Minnesota the game before. St. Louis won the last two. I think the best bet is to just keep spreading St. Louis here at one half your money. It's it's probably your best bet. Take take St. Louis for half your money. So you're giving up fifty percent juice, but it's probably an eighty to eighty five percent play for fifty percent juice. That's not bad. Um and then I'm going to keep on going over for these games, especially since I think uh, the rookie for Minnesota is going to be in, uh, Kakinen. Uh, St. Louis will have Bennington, and I'm still not sold on Bennington myself. So I think the best play is probably the over here. Los Angeles versus Anaheim. Just go under, 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 under. I got them under today. Uh, are they going to actually beat? The Ducks. Like, really? Oh, it's tied 1 1. Oh, okay. They could win. Perfect. If the Ducks win this, actually, if LA wins this game, I just thought about that. I didn't add that in. We're almost even. Yeah. We're almost even for the day. Cool. Come on, LA. Under that, and uh, Peterson should be in, and Miller should be in. So I'll go back to L.A. again. I'll just keep on going back to L.A. Uh, Vegas versus Arizona. Uh, Vegas should win. I mean, you're going to have Flurry in that. You lose this game, you're going to come back and play just as poopy the next game. Kind of spoils the 10-game winning streak you just had, doesn't it? Uh, so I'm going to take Vegas. Uh, I'm not going to puck line it, though, now. They'll piss me off. Screw you, Vegas. Screw you. You go 10 games. 
I shouldn't even be doing this. They made me so much money the last two games. I picked them every time. So, but the one day. I had them as my pick of the night. That's why. It's five, five, five pearls on that game. Anyway, I want to win every one. Don't you? Yeah, exactly. Uh, Vegas, I'm going to take in reg. I don't think it pays for Jack, does it? Does it? Oh, it doesn't pay back. Yeah, pay, take, I'll take him in reg. And uh, I'll go over. No, I don't know. I don't, I don't, the total I'm not fond of. Flurry's in net. Arizona doesn't score much. Even though they won this game, they didn't score much. And uh, Kemper will be. It's going to be Kemper against Flurry yeah, under all day. Under, under, under. Edmonton versus Calgary. Uh, the last game, Edmonton had just traveled a long time against Calgary. I took Calgary in that game. Uh, this time, no. I'm taking Edmonton. Edmonton, and I think they're going to crush him. Yeah. I think they'll crush them. St uh, Trend-wise, they always go under, though. So, all right. We'll go under, but I'm taking Edmonton. Uh, what's the money line? Yeah, that's good enough. 180 money line. Probably wouldn't be my favorite plays. Look at this. There's only one game on Sunday. I'll just throw you that one. Uh, it's going to be on a back to back for both teams. It'll be McElhaney could be in here. Juice PL Detroit. PL Detroit on that. You're going to probably get like two. McElhaney's poop. And even Detroit has a lot of injuries and stuff like that. Uh, it's probably your best bet. I, I, otherwise, don't play it at all. Okay, there we go. That's my full 42. That was a lot. But we're, I, we're, uh, I kept it to 16 minutes. Hopefully you hit that like button. And uh, LA just scored. So we are going to be even today with 55.1 seconds left. And holy smokes. Okay. You guys have a great weekend, man. Thanks for all your subscriptions. I'm sending you all pearls of wisdom necklace and lots of love to you. Big hugs. Big hugs to all of you. I just have a group hug right now. Okay, that was uncomfortably long. Okay, bye.